Welcome back to a very basic space program. Last time we uh, we landed on Mars and uh, landed upside down, which seems to be the, the habit I seem to have. Um, uh, this episode, we're, we're going to be sending up a part for our space station. We're possibly going to do a flyby of the moon. And um, yeah, we've got some prep to do for Mars again. Oh, and, and we've got some stuff around Saturn and Jupiter. So um, please join me. Right, we uh, started work on our vehicle assembly building last time out. That's going to take 163 days. We might spend a bit of funds on it, actually. In fact, I'm going to spend some funds. Let's just um, let's just let's do some some funds. So just spend lots of funds. And this is going to seem a little counterintuitive. I'm going to put them almost all into the top one. In fact, am I? Yes, I am. I'm going to take this up to as close as to 4.5 as I can. Uh, that's 4.75. That's good enough, right? Primarily because does that one foot? Oh, now that's interesting. I wonder if now we can do a little test. Go to our upgrades again. Put a couple of points in. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna jump back onto this. So let's have a look. So it's one four nine. So if I go onto this one, does that affect it at all? Oh, it does. Now that's interesting. So is it the low, lower one that affects it? So one three seven. Okay. Is it? I'm going to take this to 2 million in the bank, actually, while I'm thinking. So we're going to take this up to 137. Let's take it to just up to there. Is that going to? Right. So both of them, both of them add together to do this. That's okay. So that, that, that's fine. All right. So anyway, so the uh, the assembly building will go up to three tiers, which will speed up our building rate, but also it gives another build queue, so we'll be building quicker. You can see we've increased the rate here because we're starting to get a bit of a queue forming, um, particularly when we get onto the Dog 3D and the the Egress. Those are gonna those are gonna take a while to build, so I need to get as many queues going as possible. Um, Science is just going to keep ticking on in the background. There's only a few of them that are over 100 days. So they're all sort of, you know, two months, one month sort of period, sometimes two and a half months. Um, so that's where we are with that. So I think, I think we're going to put, yeah, we're going to put the, the Dawn 2 up there. I think we're going to go and uh, try and launch that. So do I dare, do I dare try and actually... Um, do this with a uh, with with Mechjeb. That's a good question, isn't it? It'd be quite interesting. Should we try and do it with Mechjeb? Uh, we have got some more science coming in, which means more upgrade points, which means we can put them into more of the building building. So Tranquility's got two days. I'm going to hold off on the Dog Three C launch. Remember that is the one that does not have the improved uh, pressurization system. I think we should call it. Um, we could have just tacked on a pressure tank, actually, if I was being clever, I'd have, I'd have worked out how much helium when he didn't just stuck a tank on it. But to be fair, it doesn't even need a docking port on it because it's 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 not docking. It's a test vehicle. Right. Um, let's just get this through. We're going to do the tranquility first and then we may do a test. We may do the dog three, but I don't know. Right. So that's going to go onto our 700 pad. We've got two days until the Saturn... Uh, maneuver is going to happen uh so yeah actually they're pretty much on top of each other within a second of within is that right no no we're not second minutes hours minutes okay so this one is the saturn mission is going to come first so we're going to jump to that ship and we'll do that saturn maneuver while we wait for everything else to happen i also need to think about how we're going to spend some science all right we are approaching our maneuver for intercept with enceladus i'm just looking at this here and our pass by enceladus is actually going to give us a more ecliptic uh, orbit an elliptical orbit with a with a higher apoapsis we've got interesting actually i didn't expect that all right so we're going to move towards it and then we're going to uh, prep for that launch now remember I may see if we can put in a maneuver later to get this second encounter, which I think would be quite nice for us to have. We'll think about that. Um, we do have quite a lot still to actually do regarding encounters. We've still got uh, Iapetus on the outstairs. We've got uh, Titan. I think both Yeah, I think both of those two are, are going to be out of the range unless we can move that apoapsis up. 
uh, because the the inclination the relative the the ascending descending node for Iapetus is actually up here somewhere so it's not it's not without possibility um but i think we'll play around in here first because we still have uh let's have a look we've got tethys we've done uh mimus we've done um we're gonna grab enceladus dion we have to do and Rhea we have to do if we can get those those two that gives us the inner flybys and then we can we can expend some some energy getting either titan or eopetus and the problem is they're on completely different things i mean the easy the clever way to do it would actually be to identify the relative inclination to each other which would be around here which is completely off track for us um that would have been the really good way of doing it but we have not done that so let us get on with this move this forward how are we looking for uh, charge and stuff we're still doing a lot of science then okay so what have we actually what have we got going on um i got one day is, is it going to slow down i'm thinking it's going to yeah we've got a while to go this is what we're 10 point uh, 1090 it's this here isn't it it's the imaging spec that is just firing out data still it's just taking time every time we we do anything it's just taking time to to get rid of it how much how long does that actually take one year 17 days okay so it's gonna take a while before that's done uh we've got the maneuver we're gonna close that um i want to refocus on there we go focus view thank you all right we're gonna reposition ourselves it doesn't really matter how soon we do this um let's go for to the node get that on and then i want to actually we want to see if we can actually get this in in as it were right and then we're just gonna i'm gonna fire the engines there we go bring it in and there we go now i do not see an encounter that's annoying so let's turn that off Turn that onto there. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's put us right. You know what? Let's have a look at that. Let's put us on uh, retrograde. It's probably the best idea. Hold it on my retrograde, and then we can do a little bit of just doing that. Yeah, we go. Right. We now have an encounter. That's uh, on the dark. So oh, no, I suppose it's on the light side, right? So that's going to be as how close is that? 20 to 35 kilometers where I turn the RCS off at that point. All right. What's that doing for us? Okay. That's okay. What's going on up here? Why is this changed? Oh, because we go past there and it gives us a new route, doesn't it? Okay. How close are they? That is close, isn't it? Wow. All right. So when we're actually flying past, let's put a maneuver node in here. Let's put a maneuver node there. Now let's have a look. Uh, do that. All right. If I do a little bit of work on this, that's the wrong way. We need to bring it right down, don't we? Uh, there we go. Oh, come on. What's that doing for us? Is that going to be good? Doesn't really look as though it's changing much, does it? Now it, it is almost nothing. In fact, oh, do I need to get rid of that? No, that is the maneuver. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is, um, that was minimal, wasn't it? I didn't realize it was going to be that sensitive. Okay, so we can get a second encounter with almost, almost zero sort of inter in impact there. Um, pull that down. No. Bit more of that, no, no, bit, bit of that, no. So I think that's about as good as we're going to get. So we just have to do a. It's just we're su we're super sensitive. That's the only problem with it, isn't it? Okay. So, we just need to be aware of that. Um, so we can do that maneuver there. It's tiny, or we can just wait until we're out here at the periaps potentially let me do it here there and then go 
like um is that that's a retrograde burn that's that's actually probably better for us isn't it uh it's it's as sensitive in fact it's possibly more sensitive no it's it's just going to be it's just not going to want to do it is it right we're going to wait until we've got into that sphere of influence then we'll worry about it i think okay so that's going to need a an alarm do we have an alarm we do in 13 days this you know what just having this within that you know that within the the orbit of uh Iapetus is actually making this such quicker to actually go through these cycle with with uh with Saturn. it does mean that we miss out on some of the, the flybys we've got a bit you know stuff going on but um yeah it's not bad at all right okay so that's in that's in 13 days which means i think we have chance to launch something else so let's go let's see if we can launch a space station or something like that turn that off how are we doing are you are you going to transmit at any point soon because it's what's this it's gonna wow that's going to take a while wow is it just because there's not enough buffer for it i wonder 645 bytes is that imaging spectroscopy the problem uh, imaging is that the one visible imaging it's not that one well, which one? What what is doing this experiment? Is it just that it's already done it? No, because it's in the process of doing it. So it says it's in here. Waiting, 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 waiting. But it says it's. Can I? Imaging spectroscopy. Where's the spectroscopy mass spec? No. That says it's done. That says it's done they're all done so why are you why are you still doing something where are you what are you oh it's there there we go imaging spectroscopy oh it's done it is actually done collected ah it's got a load in flight that's interesting so is it just because we have a lack of, of of power yeah it's just taking time to transmit it okay it's just a lot of big data so it's just going to keep transmitting it forever okay as you wish right let's go um let's go launch something right we have about 13 days to do this docking that's the first thing that we need to take into account and uh, the second thing is that i want to i want to see what we can actually do so you know, as we're now attempting to use the uh, assisted guiding uh, thingy, what's it? Yeah, yeah says, says target. There we go. Right. I think is there an option for launch to rendezvous? Because that would be that'd be beautiful. Um, let's have a look. Maneuver planner ascent guidance. Is there a launch to target? Launch into plane of target. That's annoying. Bought that. What that that's launched to target longitude of ascending node and that's going to be about the same time as that isn't it um we know our target craft is at about uh, 300 so i'm going to put this as 210 and 200 yeah, 300 uh 250 250 and actually you know what no we'll do what we did last time 400 that was 400 the pair uh, the pair ups was 380 the apple ups was 400 there we go that's it we're going to engage the autopilot and we're going to let it rock and roll and we'll just do the same we did last time when we sent a craft in there um we should be okay is it going to time warp no it is not why is it not disengage is everything okay i think it is we have a lot of police outside if you can hear that i don't know if you can hear that on the recording right is it going to do it doesn't look like it wants to 
I bought that. What have we got going on? The whole craft should be okay. Where's, um, is there a button for auto warp? Yes, there is. Did I knock that off in the past? Possibly. Let's have a look. Let's try this. Let's go for that. Uh, launch to plane of target. There we go. There we go. Better. Right. We'll put the uh, rendezvous planner up because we can. There we go. Now, this is a bigger module. It is a noticeably bigger module. Um, primarily because it's got a lot of capacity for people, got a lot of space. I should probably send up some sort of science module because I know you can do station science, but they use a lot of electricity. Um, so I may send one of those up once this is up because we'll get extra power from these, um, but we'll see. We may need to send out, I was also thinking of a nuclear uh, reactor or something like that. That'd be quite interesting. So there we go. We're gonna get this sent up at the three times speed. Oh, I was gonna change this, wasn't I? Oh, well. I think in future we do need to change that. Um, I'm not sure what the mass of this is. I think it's well below the uh, the launch mass of this thing that it's capable of. So I think it should be okay. Uh, we will see. I think this this is not the most stable of second stages with this large fairing on the top. I think it acts a little bit interesting in, in atmosphere. Uh, it's whether we can get through the thick stuff first, I think is most important. And I think probably when we have a higher launch like this, where we're going to 380, it's, it's a little better. It's a little more stable. It's not as bad. Um, yeah, you see it's, it's putting its nose back there a little bit. Um, and then I think we can just drop it down to, 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 to can, we, can we go to two times? Thank you. Wow, that was that was a freeze moment and a half there, wasn't it? We'll let that do that. And, okay, that's staging, staging, wonderful. Get away. Brilliant, we can go back to three times. Time warp, there we go. This is interesting. I don't know if it makes it any more efficient or less efficient by doing this because it's not checking as often for its guidance intervals, but, you know, there we go, that's, that goes, I think the fairings go a little late for my liking. Anyway, you can now see the craft. So we've got our little transfer module there. That's the usual one we're gonna use. And then we've got this up here, which is, um, yeah, it's basically, oh no, that's filled up, has it? No, I think I, I think I emptied it. So I'll just open all of those up, there we go. We can probably open that up as well, there we are. Um, of electric charge bit of nitrogen in there because we want it because if you want to do any eva type stuff we might need it for pressurization we've got oxygen food water just a little bit of stores on there um actually while i'm thinking about it we can uh that's stopped that's stopped what we got? and then we've got a utility module down here which again has space for lots and lots of food and wonderful things like that um really nice stuff uh, how far off are we going to be are we getting close I don't know, about three minutes it says to that there. Uh oh, this is not good. I think we may have a problem here. Uh, let's have a think. I don't think we've got the Delta V for this. Have I underestimated this? This says this has got 22 seconds. There's no way this has got 22 seconds. We were so far away from where we should be. That's crazy clear. Am I gonna have to finish it off with the next stage? I was not expecting that. Okay. We had a problem with one of the stages maybe this might be a lot heavier than i originally thought or maybe we shouldn't have put it into this orbit right come on let's have a go let's see what we get oh we're going to pause oh it's put the solar panels out for me that's nice didn't know i'd had that put on right um this is going to burn for a little while it should have more than enough delta v to put us in orbit but the next question will be for me yes i can put it in orbit do I have enough delta V left to dock the thing? Uh, it is a large, large craft actually. I probably underestimate that. You can see we've got quite a lot of solar power just, just dotted around it. Um, crew tubes in between all of them. This is the same bottom section we had on the first craft. Of course, we've got the extension there. We've got RCS systems all put on there. Done that again. Of course, we'll probably find out that these are, are not set up properly. Let's have a quick check. They are 2961. Uh, that's the only way I can actually do it. I wish there was a way you could uh, you can actually click on them and see what fuel they used. That would be a really nice, you know, a nice you know quality of life thing. Oh, we've got a freeze up again. All right, this is a, this is going to be very interesting. So I think we ha have enough delta V here. Um, I did not expect it to use so much of that final stage though. Um, the problem will come is 
if this thing here can't actually dock properly because we may take a couple of attempts at this. I th yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Um, we should have about 500 meters per second left and I'm hoping our relative inclination will be about zero because I do not want to have to do an inclination change as well. Yeah, it's going to be down to zero. So we can start having a look at uh, our, our orbit a little bit. Oh, we've got a pretty close there. Separation by 200. It's, it's going up, but uh, that is interesting. So we could do a, a little thing there. What's that? Oh, Discovery 3. That's still in orbit? Wow. Um, what we're looking at? 700 meters per second? Okay. 700 meters. So we're going to have about 500. We should be able to do something. Oh, that's nice, actually. That's a potential little something there. And there we go. Superb. Done. Finished. Sorted. Now you know what we're going to do an intercept with the Hoffman tra tra transfer. There you go. Uh, how much is that going to be? That's, separation is not brilliant, but it'll do. Uh, let's just execute that straight away. Let's have a look. What we're doing for power is the next question. Um, our electric charge is going down, but we are on the dark side. Uh, we've got a decent supply of things there, a little bit of oxygen. The reason these are here are actually just um, because it gives us storage. If we're sending up crew in future, um, or we can send up a crew a craft with just oxygen, food, water, all that sort of stuff. I can send something up with just laden with these resources and just bump, bump, dump them across. And what I was thinking was modifying one of our dog threes to actually have no sort of crew quarters and actually replace that a bit like the progress capsule crew, replace that crew quarter at the front with, um, with just, uh, supplies. We could just put food, oxygen, water in there and just get that done. A little bit of a lithium hydroxide, although we've got a lot on here, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, what are we doing? Are we actually going to do some maneuvering at some point? We've got that there, that, 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 that. What are these ones? You know what? I'm actually gonna do that as well. There we go. Is that gonna help you? Um, it, I do quite like the fact that when it's turning, it, uh, it takes its time. It doesn't overuse its RCS. Um, the other side of that is that it can become annoying. So yeah, so these are the fuel tanks we have on board, are they? Yeah, so we've got a little, a, a decent supply of fuel on board to do sort of orientation control, things like that. It's it's not huge, but it's enough to probably dock this. If, if we had to dump this, this thing would be able to dock on its own, I believe. How heavy is this? So this is a, yeah, this is, this is almost 20 tons. So that, you know, this stage here is probably about two, three tons. So this is a 15 ton module which is uh, significantly bigger than I think the station originally was. So we're, we're more than doubling the size. We're adding more of these solar panels on and we've got some some fixed panels as well that we put on. I quite like the ones on there that I've added on. I think it covers up those, those patches quite nicely. There we go. Now we're gonna have to see just how close we are. Right, let's have a look. Show me how close we are. That's terrible. Um, okay, let's see if we can do a bit of maneuvering it better and no do that go for our second intercept i think is the one that looks as though it's going to be juicy a uh, bit of this yeah that second intercept is going to be nice so we're going to bring that down to do that we're just using a bit of our rcs to do that bring it down to well, how close can we go? We know we want to risk it about 100. About 100 is fine. Right. Okay. Next, um, we're going to match velocities at close to approach. 49. Yeah, that's the right one. So then we're going to execute that. I think that's going to actually throw off our our intercept just a little bit because we're firing the end the the thrusters and they're slightly off center. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so we've got this capacity up here for four crew. Uh, we have utility module here that we can store some things in the inventory if we really need to. We've turned off all of the, uh, we've got an N2 scrubber in there, um, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I'm not sure why that's N2 and that's O2. Um, I could probably have swatched that out, but I didn't. I think you have to e edit a file for that. Um, it should be just a part in the in the, in the uh, thing where you go in and change it. So I could have probably changed that, but I've left it as N2, which is part of the reason why we've got all that N2 there, um, just because 
stuff and things. Right. Um, what I could do is actually have a look at the info. So what have we what have we got? Um, environment. Okay. So what have we got? What have we got in here? Um, everything's perpetual because I don't have anything on board. That's why. Okay. We actually need a crew on board to measure any of that. So this thing's just going to swing itself around. Um, do we have a docking thing here? Is there a dock? There is a docking autopilot, right? Do I, do I let this thing do an or a dock itself? That's the question, isn't it? I'm going to control from here. There you go. Right. Do we let this thing do the docking itself? Mm, that is interesting. Let's have a look. I don't want to click on it just yet until we're actually nearby. Um, yeah, right. <clears throat> I do like the fact that this will time warp gently in like that. Um, so we don't end up with everything just going crazy. Uh, closest approach is, it's gonna be a little bit more in the way of distance. I wonder if I could just do a little bit of, oh, we're still in speedy up mode, aren't we? Do a little bit of this, just to, to bring it down. There we go, it's gonna pull it in, okay. There we go, it's gonna slow itself down. Bang on target, please. Okay. Right, where do I want to dock? I want to dock. Uh, let's have a look. Can I Can I see you? Yeah, there you are. Uh, there we are. Let's get you in the view. That's what I want to dock to. That's it. Right, um, I need to jump across because it is now, uh, it's now got itself in an odd situation where it's, no, no, it's, it's okay actually. Right, you, let's see if we can get the docking going on. So, docking autopilot, let's see how much fuel we can waste. Speed limit, one meter per second. Um, pump our boxes, da da da. Autopilot enabled, there we go. So, let's see what happens here. Can I physical time warp you? Yes, I can. Oh, how exciting. So this is where we may use up all our fuel. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to see how it goes. Seven, me seven meters per second difference. Okay. Well, I suppose we're, we are closing. So what's it say? Moving at minus one meter per second to get to the correct side of the target. Okay. That's fine. Let's have a look at this then. Let's see how it goes about its docking. And yeah, you can do this. I The docking port uh, autopilot I, I have used many, 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 many years ago. And it wasn't very good when I did it, but um, yeah, that's that's my that's my view. Because what's that going to do? Is false rule going to do anything good? Um, okay, is that going to put me into? Oh, it is. So if I have them both fixed on false rule to zero degrees, that's actually going to align them. Ah, because these, of course, do not have uh, they don't have the the rotation on them that uh, that other ones have. Okay. So either I'm lucky and they are actually going to be aligned, or they look they look as though they're going to be aligned. We'll we'll find out when they get near each other. They're probably not at all aligned. What we are going to end up with is we're going to have these two bits on either end that are actually engines, which are uh, probably not a good idea to have. Um, so what we will do is I will probably. All right, we're doing something now. What are we doing? Moving towards the start point. Okay, I see. So you basically get on the right side of the craft, then you're gonna float sideways, and you're gonna match your X, Y, and Z, X and Y is it, or X and Z? Yeah, so here we go. Let's have a look, how are you doing? Going in. Much easier than doing it by hand, isn't it? I'm gonna have to do this in future. I quite like doing these by hand though, if I'm honest. Um, it's going to be nice if we can line them up though. This is nice if I could actually force them to be perfectly aligned. That would be, I'd be very happy with that. Right, we're moving towards the start point. I believe the start point is just that we're going to be aligned on two axes. Yeah, so as soon as this is lined up with that, which we're about to do, it'll just uh, zero out the velocity and just drive itself home, I'm guessing. Is that what it's going to do? Um, let's have a look. Should be doing it about now or preparing to. Any second, there we go. Now, yes, there we go. Moving forward to docking, okay, there we go. 
I'm not sure I like the idea of it docking at one meter per second, but we will do that. Um, will it dock with them closed like this? Or I'm going to have to redo it. I mean, that would be the interesting bit. Right, we're going to we're going to turn this to normal speed now. So, do I need to extend you? Is that something that needs to happen? Do both of them need to be extended? That's the next question. Um, if one's extended and the other isn't, does that count? I don't know. Mm, interesting. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Because I wonder if you can extend. Can you? Can you? Is it, it's not got the undock thing on there. Is it retract? Okay. Maybe they don't dock unless they're retracted. Um, you know what? Retract it. Let's see what it does. Let us see. So we're now moving at 0 0.2 meters per second for the docking. Okay. Uh, one meter, two meter, three meter. Are we? Are we going to? Are we going to? So close. So close. Go on. Just edge it in. I don't feel as though it's going to do anything. Like seriously. Are you not going to dock? No, you're not. Okay, so maybe that needs to be deployed. Ah, what's this? Oh dear. Uh oh. Slow that down. Slow that down. That is interesting. So I don't think the big ones function. That's very annoying. So these things are not really working as docking ports. All right. So comment down below on that one. These ports obviously have extendability. I cannot find a, a common berthing module that doesn't have this extension to it. Otherwise I'd use it. But it potentially means that these, these two units are pretty much useless. Uh, we'll give this one attempt. If it doesn't, we're going to send these down because there's no point in me keeping these up in orbit. In my mind, we would basically be having, you know, we've got these four ports here, but it'd be so annoying. There'd be no long-term structure to it, particularly if we want to check out long-term habitation. I want to be able to send lots of craft up and stuff. I want to add a science unit to it. If I send science units up to this at the moment, it's just, yeah, it's a waste. Can we do it, can we do it from the port? Oh, there, yeah, that's cool. There we go. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> Are we lined up? Right, we're thrusting forward now. They're extended. They're not actually technically docking ports, according to the uh, sim at the moment. Um... If worst comes to the worst, we just undock, well, we, we, we retract, rotate both of them. This one will dock to the back of that one, and then we'll probably dump them both in the ocean. Or I'll rotate this one sideways and we'll do something like that. I don't know. Let's have a look. Is it going to dock? Do they both have to be extended to dock? That's the question. Right. So last time they just stopped next to each other, basically. It was almost like they were repelling each other. Um... So let's see, are we going to do anything? Are we going to dock? Is there going to be attraction? Is there going to be anything between you? I don't see anything. I don't see anything. It's like they're repelling each other. Oh, we have a dock. So they do dock, but they've got to be thingy. So can I... Um... Ah, so they stay open like that. You cannot retract them once they're like that. Okay. That's cool. That gives you a, a longer structure. Let's have a look. Are we lined up at all? That's sort of lined up, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So let's have a look. What have we got up here? You have got some fuel. What have you got? Uh, you can have fuel going. We'll transfer you all the way over there. Um, right, then we'll do a little physical t uh, time warp. Eat. Right, and then we need to basically, um, we need to think about filling up all the tanks. Uh, that we can. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Actually, cancel that. Um, uh, where are they? That one. I think they're all done, aren't they? Right, so we're just going to do that one, that one that one and that one and 
we're going to fill you up from here. So we're going to do out, out, out. Um, I think everything is full. Yep. So then I think if I go AM camera there, good stuff. I think what I want to do, uh, actually we can aim the camera there. Um, I think I'm ready to decouple you. So undock or decouple node. There we go. There is no control on that. So it's just going to drift away. Um, that's fine. Uh, and leaves this in orbit as such. So this can now go fine. Okay. Wonderful. Right. So I think we've got that done. And I think that was going to be a quick and easy mission, but it's been a nightmare, hasn't it? So let's, let's have a think. Do we need to send a craft up to this is the next question. Are we, are we sending, are we sending a craft up to this? Uh, what we didn't do is going to turn this engine off while I'm thinking about it, just in case. Um, we technically have a good bit of fuel on this. It's big, isn't it? It's it's long. By not being able to retract those, it actually makes it an awful lot bigger. Um, we do have power now. Let's have a look at the power situation. So, uh, where is my, is that it? Yeah, there we are. So that's the avionics. That will hold 92 tons. Uh, this one on here, which is the original one, holds 100 so what we will do is we will i don't know why i put a 96 two ton on this one put down it should have been the same right let's have a look what have we actually got in the way of power so electric charge we're currently gaining five a second when we're in the sun okay we're using point what, point three so this thing is this thing is good this is this is happy um we could send more power up. I would like to test something out like the nuclear reactors on it. So we could maybe think about docking a nuclear reactor down here somewhere. Um, we have potentially a huge amount of stores for supplies. I mean, we, th this thing is, this thing is just, it's overladen with, with space for, for food, water and oxygen. We have enough there for probably uh, probably about a year. I don't know about 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 six sixty days something like that. I'd have to check it, but we could we could actually um we could do better. So I think this episode was going to be about a few different things, but this just this docking process itself has been horrendous. Um, note to self: if you're using common birthing mechanisms, they have to be extended when you dock. You can't have one of them open, one of them not, or both of them not open. Um, so yeah, there we go. So from me. Um, until next time, have a great one.